Welcome to another video by Mad Chemistry. Today, we are going to synthesize the tertiary butyl hypochlorite, that's a chlorination agent. Here, I have uh, 210 milliliters of household bleach in my round bottom flask, 15 milliliters of tertiary butanol, and 10 milliliters of acetic acid. In the first step, I'm going to add the acetic acid to the tertiary butanol. Now I have a solution of acetic acid in tertiary butanol. In the next step, I'm going to lower the temperature of sodium hypochlorate, that's the bleach. After 10 minutes using ice bath, now the bleach temperature is under 10 centigrade degrees. Now I add the tertiary butanol and acetic acid solution to the bleach. After adding that, I turn out the lights. Because the product is light sensitive. Here, after 15 minutes, the reaction mixture is ready to, de to be decanted. So I pour it into a decanter. As you see in the decanter, there are two phases. The upper oily phase is tertiary butyl hypochlorite. So it's time to decant. Decanting the reaction mixture. Discarding the water phase. In this stage, it's time to change the Erlenmeyer flask and save the product. of sodium bicarbonate solution to neutralize the remaining acetic acid. After that, it's time to decant the two faces. Adding the discarding phase, that's sodium bicarbonate, 
to the previous waste. you guys now it's time to change the Olimaya flask I'm using the little flask to save my product <laughs> sorry I don't have it And the last step, adding some calcium chloride to the product to remove the remaining water. Shaking it. Adding some more. And then filtering it into an amber glass to avoid the light degradation. I here use a little filter uh, to, uh, to avoid loss of my product. the filtration is off, use a plastic cap to seal the bottle. If you use the elastic cap, the third butyl hypochloride will attack the elastic and degrade it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and comment.